It is known as the supreme lamp dispelling the darkness of delusion. Knowing this, the learned one who has heart for liberation <coughs> endeavor with multitude effort to cultivate this path. I, a yogi, have practiced in this manner. You who aspire for liberation, true, should do likewise. In the mere one-pointed concentration, I fail to see the potency to cut the root of cycle of existence. Yet with wisdom, devote of path of tranquil abiding. No matter how much one may prove, the affliction will not be overcome. <clears throat> so this wisdom decisively penetrating the true mode of being, the learned one settles its esoteric force of unwavering, calm abiding, and with the sharp weapons of reasoning of the middle way, free of extremes, is dismantled all um, locus. locus of objectification of the mind grasping at extremes. With such expensive wisdom that which proved with problem, with um, precision, precision, <coughs> very tiny. How do you think that? The learned ones enhance the wisdom realizing the suchness. By a yogi has practiced in this manner. You who aspire to liberate, to shoot, to my wife. What needs they made that through one point of cultivation, absorption is realized through discriminative awareness, probing with precision as well as one can. Abide unwavering and utterly stable upon the true mode of being. Wondrous are those who see this and strive for the union of abiding and insight. I, a yogi, have practiced in this manner. You who aspire for liberation to should do likewise. <clears throat> the space like emptiness of meditative eco pose and illusion like emptiness of the subsequent realization press are those who cultivate them and bind together the method and wisdom and travel beyond the Buddha's subtle states. It is the way of fortunate one to realize this and not to be content with partial path. I, a yogi, have practiced in this manner, you who aspire for liberation, to should do likewise. Thus, having cultivated as they are the common path, essential for two supreme of the causal and resulting great vehicles, I have entered the great ocean of tantras by relying upon the leadership of the learned navigators. <coughs> navigators. <coughs> and through application of the consensual instruction I have taken meaningful human existence that I have obtained. I, a yogi, have practiced in this manner. You who aspire to liberation should do likewise. 
in order to make familiar to my own mind and to help benefit fortunate uh, others as well. I've explained here in words easy to understand in it is entirely part that please the concourse so the virtue may all being be never be divorced, divorced from the perfect pure excellent part. Thus I pray I a yogi have made expression in this manner. You who aspire for liberation to should pray likewise. He is brief presentation of the practice of the stage of part of the enlightenment written in the format of the memorandum was composed by the well real monk Vimanshad Lokfanta at the great mountain retreat Gandhi number Javelin. So um, composed in Gandhi when he was 46 years old. So um, <coughs> Now I want the whole Tibet in one text, right? <laughs> in the whole beginning to the end. So we will finish. <laughs> so this is London, is the... <coughs> Amatunkapa, when he was 35 years old, so he asked Manjushri, and he was meditating on emptiness during that period. And he asked Manjushri, my view right or wrong, you know? My view, Matamika Patankika or the Sotantika? And Manjushri said, your view is neither of Matamika Patankika or uh, and he said, what, sh what should I do? And like Lama Tongaba talked to Manjushri like us, his teacher, you know, not human being. Manjushri is not human being, it's coming from the <coughs> pure being. So ordinary people cannot see like, but when he was, when he was 35 years old, then he can see Manjushri and ask the question like us. And he says, uh, you should go to retreat. <laughs> so first we have to pray, retreat, retreat to purification. And uh, then uh, visualize Guru and Yidam one and accumulate lots of merit. Then you will be able to realize emptiness. So he went, when he was 35 years old, <coughs> He went to a place called Velka, which is where my father was born. That Velka is very famous. There are many, many Lama Tsongkhapa's holy places. Now, from last night, very, say maybe one hour by car, before walking, take a long time. <coughs> so that, he take, uh, he asked, who should I take with my retreat? It, eight important students. So the Manjushri named this uh, name of the student. You should take this eighty student and go to retreat for thirty five years. When he was thirty five years, he went and retreat, and then Lama Tsongkhapa <coughs> did all the practice. Thirty five Buddhas, uh, postation. Each Buddha he did hundred thousand, hundred thousand, thirty five times. Which is mandala offering, no mandala in his uh, rope. He did mandala, all the bleeding here. You, you can see he's still in go to Tibet. The Lama Tsongkhapa did mandala on the rope and all the time. <coughs> so then after 35 years, <coughs> 35 years, 36, 37, 39, uh, 35, 36. 36, 37, 38, 39, 41. So one night he had vision of the <coughs> these five great masters, Nagarjuna, Aryadeva, uh, Chandrakirti, uh, Baba Viveka, and uh, uh, Buddha Palida, five Indian masters. So he is very clear. 
in this indian master <coughs> in this indian master and then among this uh, master this long time we see like us among this um, uh, buddha palida buddha palida very important thing we had to study at the monastery buddha palida chandakiti type middle way this all and uh, fundamental wisdom knowledge and all the ancient stuff so the among this so like uh, they are indian people they are not black so he saw that um buddha palida with me like indian people like black color and he gave uh, this buddha palida text touching his head and tomorrow when he wake up he will listen directly so that is the emptiness the person is now before so that he realized emptiness when he was 41 years old and then then he went to then he was uh, 46 years old so he before he start uh, composing lamin great lamin medium small lamin this lamin he had a uh, memory ah he was uh, writing the text for the for this lineage lama in the kadamba gishi at the riding monastery in tibet riding monastery close to lhasa so when he was composing these things all this master coming see him like us all this master he can see directly among this atisha tomdamba <coughs> kishipodwa all this uh, kadamba gishi three months he saw him like every and among this <coughs> and then all Abdupi Shada, Katama Gishi Buddha, Abdup, and Abdup to Dum Dum, and finally only Adisha left, Adisha there, and Adisha touched his hand, he's, oh, okay, you, when you compose Lamin, I will be there for helping all the time, so this is what he started composing Lamin text, when he was 46 years old. in gandan <coughs> gandan monastery so no no so lamun chamo and not uh, in riding monastery sorry so he composed this great lamun this is the commentary of the atishat lend to father in latin and then uh, medium lamun he composed at gandan monastery lamun and then this uh, this lamun small lamrim yamgur means this <coughs> is the from his own experience he like he study and his own experience telling uh, i do like this you should be do like this this lamrim yamgur okay so this is the history of lamrim how does this lamrim come from so anyway this <coughs> what happened is before lama zonga ba the lamrim teaching there right atisha tomdamba all the kadamba gishi podawa so there are three lineage of lamrim coming lamrim what is called the textual lineage of lamrim instruction lineage of lamrim path lineage of lamrim you know so these three lamrim lama tankapa make one lamp combined together like big river textual lineage of lamrim instruction lineage lamrim and path lineage lamrim <coughs> so textual lineage lamrim is coming from take little tunnel all right <laughs> you don't mind <laughs> textual lineage lamrim kadamba adisha path to dondamba dondamba path this lineage to kadamba gishi podawa gishi podawa path this lineage to gishi shara This is called the textual lineage lamu. So the text is six texts. Guide to the Buddhist other way of life. Uh, ornament of sutra text. Compendium of the precept. Life story of Buddha. Special explanation of the Buddha's teachings. And a Buddhist other way of life. Six texts. 
So they are mainly practicing these six texts. This is called textual lineage of learning. And then instruction lineage of learning coming from <coughs> Atisha to Tomdamba. Tomdamba to Kadamba Gishi, <coughs> uh, it is called the Gishi, uh, Gishi Pujungwa. The Gishi Pujungwa to Gishi Niusupa. So this, this lineage is called the Kadamba. Kadam lineage of the instruction. So these instructions are they are giving four noble truth instruction, two truth instruction, and dependent arising instruction. So this lineage is called the Lamrim instruction lineage. Now Lamrim path lineage is coming from Atisha to Dumdamba. Dumdamba to <coughs> Gishi uh, uh, Gumbawa and Gishi Gumbawa or Gishi Nilsumba. So these are called the uh, uh, path lineage of Lamu. So these three lineage, instruction lineage, okay, uh, textual lineage, path lineage, to make one lineage, Lama Tsongkhapa. So it's called New Kadamba. His previous is old kadamba. So you say new kadamba, old kadamba. Old kadamba are textual lineage, instruction lineage, path lineage. And Lama Tongkapa make this one big river, new kadamba lineage. So you understand? This, <coughs> this is how Lama teaching <coughs> coming from. So now this <coughs> uh, first <coughs> is small Lama is his own experience, he realized and uh, telling us, you sh we should do like, I did like this, you, you follow of the Lama Tongaba should be to exactly the same what I do. So, <coughs> so I will read this, so read the whole text, then you will receive the whole transmission from this Lama you know, just from beginning to the end, all this. So first is the uh, Lama, you have English, you read, you just watch the first number one. Okay, I read. Mamrin Nyangur Shuksos, Hunzo Geleche with Tumberti, Thai Dove, they were coming from Malusheja, Jishi Sipi, Shagyato, De La Kuchak. So this is number one. Pay homage to the Buddha. Buddha, quality of the body, quality of the speech, and quality of the mind. So your quality of the body is thirty two sign and A B major. Your quality of speech is your teaching. Your quality of mind is omniscient mind. So therefore I pay homage to you. Homage to the Buddha. Body, speech and mind. Among this quality of the speech is the excellent for us because through college of speech we can learn we can think we can meditate so therefore among this <coughs> so this means Lama Tonga by paying homage to the Lord Buddha body speech and mind you read the English there you can so Dame <coughs> means Buddha is Dame means because Buddha taught dependent arising and emptiness. So it's Dame. Buddha is he taught about dependent arise and emptiness. So so <coughs> who will carry this to Manjushri carry the Buddha's teaching about emptiness? The material carry the Buddha teaching about the method. Um, you know this uh, Buddhichitta mind and all other. So this, so they are the son of the Buddha. These two, Manjushri and uh, Maitreya. Okay, because Manjushri carry the Buddha's lineage of emptiness, and Maitreya carry the Buddha lineage of matter. You know, Buddhichitta mind, right? <coughs> 
Therefore, I pay homage to you too, you know, my dear. Shindu Pakbarka wa Gyaweyum, Jishi Gomba, Dede Zanli, Ludo Tome Chen and Sasana, Yoso Tabe Chen of Dacha Seras. So now, after this, who will carry? Buddha, then carry Manjushri. Manjushri, now Nagajuna, Nagajuna, carry the emptiness. And Asanga, carry the uh, Buddha, Buddha Chita Lide. Okay, so there, therefore, I pay homage to you too. Indian Master Nagarjuna and Asanga. Because Asanga, when he went, he went to Tushita to receive teaching from the <coughs> India, right? So he went there, he bring all these five uh, teaching from, otherwise no teaching in India, right? So he went there, he meditated for maybe 12 years, then <laughs> in the cave one, and then um, finally he, he see the matter and then he went to the Tushita. Only one morning he received these five major texts. So you know what I mean? Ornament of Kala Realization, or Ornament of Sutra, all the, this. He bought five texts. Just morning he went to Tushita, received teaching from uh, Matriya, come back. Oh, just morning. So in human beings, 15 years. <laughs> just for Tushita, just morning, 15 years. When he came back, 15 years, just 15 years. That's, so he, he used to say the Asanga bring git from this git in this universe. Ornament of realization, collection of sutra. So anyway, so therefore, <coughs> uh, paying homage to these two great masters, Indian master Nagarjuna and Asanga. In the Chimbunil Lake, Samuel Tower, Jaja Chibel, Mano Yoso, the Venetian, the Tambe, the Mangan Zala. So that is his two master, right? Asanga and Nagajuna text unified by the Indian master Atisha. And he composed text Lem to part to enlightenment. Therefore, I pay homage to you. Okay. Ramjam Sumra Kula Tamil, Kazan Tavaja Vajamu, Sevich, Sesing in the Lubucha. So, this is paying homage to Lama Tsongama's teacher. <coughs> teacher, you know. So, Ramjam Sumra Kula Tavaja Mik, lamb to the part in Latin mean is like eyes, you know. Eye. When you eye, you see, like, right? if you know eye, you cannot see. So, lamb to the part to enlightenment text is like eye. It is individual person who take to liberation. From where? Small scope to the medium scope, medium scope to the great scope, great scope to the tantra and go like that. It is gradual step by step. So <coughs> so means uh, his teacher. Lama Tsongkhapa, I have 150 teachers. So he was born in Tibet in 1957. When he was three years old, he received uh, Upasika ordination from Kamaba, Rebbe Doji, first Kamaba. And then his, uh, when he was seven years old, Chuchu Tundu Vrinchen, he mainly <coughs> give ordin ordination and give teaching. And he keep, he keep Lama Tsongkhapa seven years old and give uh, even Heruka initiation <coughs> and then uh, uh, when he was 16 years old he from Amdo to Tibet 16 years old take a long time no it will take one year to get in central Tibet <laughs> so he <coughs> he received many many teachers his Rendawa <coughs> Lama many 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 150 teachers as well as Manjushri and all his teachers. You know. So, <clears throat> uh, so paying homage to his guru. 
So that Lamrim text is combination of these two, combination of Nagarjuna teaching and combination of the Asanka teaching. This. If you only study one side, you will not able to understand the method side. If you only start about method, you, you are not able to understand the wisdom side. But the length of the part of enlightenment is, Lamrim is, combination of these two teachings. Asanka and Buddha Dhamma Lejo Chanjo Vami Kegu Dhamma Dhamma Rinja Vami Nidya Moda Shung Satum Le Chu Duvich It is like this Lamrim teaching is like Shung Santum with thousands of scriptures. What are these? 100 Kangyu, 112. Thank you, 233. All these teachings in, included in this Lamrim text. It's like you study all these texts when you, when you recite this prayer, similar to you study all these texts. All this text essence included in this text. So when you practice this, you are like thank you, thank you, all text included in this. Then but I'm the game top of Sura Mang the Tambal Chavan, Yoga Telanya Bana, Niji Chibu Yang for Lega Bones. So they have four qualities. When you understand Lamrim, then what time they give me no contradiction for all the Buddha's teaching. Hinayana, Mayana, first will of Dharma, attaining second will. From the word, there's contradiction. When Buddha taught first will of Dharma, turning, all phenomena are true existence. Second will of Dharma, turning, all phenomena are absence of true existence. The contradiction, but no. When you understand London, you will not contradict those books. All teaching are meant to be one individual person to liberate enlightenment according to their own mental attitude. So, and all the scriptures <coughs> are, no matter what kind of scripture, all are practice. And you are able to realize all the realization emptiness, realization of renunciation, realization of the renunciation, six perfection, everything. No? And you will not criticize religious. And you will not discriminate, oh, this is good, this is bad, something like that. So that's Yeju Chimbe Yasa Leja Bhu. Tiji Jabe Kebe Kyo Ne Kelde Dume Tebe Tamba Chu. Kebu Sum Jalam Jirim Bhai. Kebu Sum means Small, medium, and great. Small is small person, medium person, and great person. The small person is the person who wants to stop from the to be wrong, reborn in lower realm. Small person. One reborn in human being, God and demigod. Medium person is not satisfied but wanting to cross from the cycle of existence. The great person is not satisfied to cross the cycle of existence, but wanting to become enlightenment for the benefit of all sentient beings. So these three, three persons, small, medium. Love 
This is about precious human labor. <coughs> so we have eight freedoms and ten endowments. <coughs> Lamjodala, Tingy Summit, the Mania Pada Sajam, the Mazam, the Jula, the Gosanti, the Tibu, Sawa Lady, to one day, the Junta Toshi Sawa Tama Chibala Menu. So this is, uh, we have to uh, take refuge, Buddha Dhamma and Sangha, and meditate on the law of cause and effect, and purify with the four opponents. <coughs> Opponent. Who antidote, antidote of object, antidote of education, antidote of humor, and antidote of the uh, not doing again. So, from so, do they name it some lama when the Tava to need the same image? Could you cool it? Did it more than a cool child? Did it selling a duty of a jet about a cool country? Much about the gentleman and Tadu Daja de Chabalos. So, this is about. Uh, medium scope, like right? Four Noble Truths. So Buddha taught Four Noble First Will of Dhamma Tanya, Four Noble Truths. So the first, uh, first, introduce Four Noble Truths. Second time, and then he is pointing, this is, you should experience Four Noble Truths. Third time, once you experience, then you don't have to experience that again. You know. So first, this is truth of suffering, origin of suffering, cessation of suffering, part of suffering, experience truth of suffering, cessation of suffering, part of suffering. If you experience truth of path, you don't have to experience that again. If you experience truth of cessation, you don't have to experience again right it's just like uh, <clears throat> if somebody if you cut that person's head one cut finish you don't even cut again you know? cessation is like this you cut cessation once you experience that's all you don't have to experience again you experience all the time <clears throat> so that uh, <clears throat> Medium scope. Send your tejo lam de shuji de la de juan and de shell of the Tonya Bola, so you de la Bola, and the other person of the Telashin, and the Bola, and the Jedela Menya Meta, and the Tatu Danya de Jabo. This is the uh, great scope. So that means Buddhichita mind. So Buddhichita mind is the gateway to enter the mind uh, path. So once you have Buddhichita mind, you become Buddhisattva, right? So, to teach the mind and um, experience conventional buddhich of the mind, then you achieve path of accumulation, then you understand buddhich of the mind with emptiness, with the inferential valid mind, path of liberation, and then finally you direct perceive the emptiness, path of seeing, and then you're familiar with emptiness again and again with ten grounds, path of meditation. And then it will go to the path of no more money. So it is. So if there is no buddhich at the foundation, you are unable to achieve all this accumulation, preparation, path of seeing, meditation, ten path. So it, it is gateway to eternal mind. Jimba dove re gun ishe no te na de bejo me te na de ma shamu tu je bejo. So that is a profession of generosity. So this is profession of morality. A morality is like water washing cloth. So we have dirty cloth washed by water, right? What we are washing, we are washing our impure body, impure speech, impure mind. So washing. When you practice moral morality, right? 
in virtuous action. So you are washing your speech, washing your mind, washing your body. Like you washing old clothes, clean up. Morality. <clears throat> and this is also like a cool moon. When you see the cool moon, so, you know what I mean, make you uh, cool, make you peace. It is like foundation of the for the concentration and meditation. Uh, so that is perfection of passion. Perfection of passion is like ornament. Ornament. So ordinary ornament is not suitable for everybody, right? Maybe some ornaments suit for young, not for old. But the ornament of uh, passion is suit for everybody. It, everybody who practice, it is like <clears throat> uh, ornament and uh, like it, to defeat the afflictive emotion, especially for the anger, hatred and anger. Okay, so there is perfection of the joyful effort. This is the perfection of concentration. Shira Samitin, you know, I mean, Sibi is over to Nijim, so I go in the moment and the metro. She said, I'm going to give her a little bit of 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 a little Imagine a Tala Jenna and Tata who made a person and the Tata Mission of the City of Miami. Then you took a lot of the mother, Jizella Menam and the Tata Daja. So, this is talking about if you only meditate on the single Buddha concentration and not meditating on analytical meditation, you are unable to overcome all the afflictive emotions. The Jago Mediti to one and never did the decision of Java. So, the Tava Yinja, you know, you mentioned the demo. So this is talking about uni unification of calm abiding, especially in sight. So you need both calm abiding and especially in sight. Calm abiding means single body concentration with nine stages of the mind. Calm abiding. Remember? When we practice calm abiding, we have to recognize five folds and eight antidotes and then apply nine stages of the mind one by one, setting the mind, testing the continue to like this, this thing upon the concentration, you will be able to achieve the bliss of the body and mind. Your mind became suitable to practice, your body became very light, even 90, 80 years, your body, if you are meditating on the coming body, light body, you know, you don't have any heavy, heavy in the body. So this is why you need coming back, but <clears throat> also you need analytical meditation on the emptiness, especially inside. Combine this together, you will defeat the afflictive emotions, not one fight, okay? <clears throat> This is what space like meditation on emptiness. Yamsha Nangata means perceiving emptiness direct is like space. When we when you realize emptiness directly, right? For us or any any anybody who realizes emptiness directly, during that period you are concentrating single pointed on the emptiness. No dual appearance. 
no conventional object appear during that period. All subside. Yamsha Mangwada, like space. Space is the very good analogy of the emptiness. Because space is what we call the empty of obstacle contact. So when you negate this, you space, right? For example, like <coughs> we used to say like empty space, right? Mm. But we cannot see the space. We all <coughs> so you may say I can put my cushion on the empty space. So you're looking there, you can't put cushion on another's head. But you have to look at oh this is the empty space, I can put my cushion and sit down there, right? Mm. So then you realize it's partial emptiness. Special, right? Special, special emptiness. Yeah. Because if you don't realize special emptiness, how can you put your okay. your yes. cushion on the empty yeah. space? Yeah. So that is space is really really uh, best analogy of the emptiness. Yeah. So even though you cannot see the space, yeah. but you can do like this: yeah. empty space. I put my cushion. I sit down there. That means you realize indirectly you realize it's partial emptiness space. So similarly, space like emptiness means. So when you realize the emptiness directly, single modally, all these uh, conventional uh, object appears, no appearance, just clear. And after arising from emptiness, everything appears. To your mind, but you will not believe, but you will realize empty of inner existence. Like, like magician, you know, mm. magician, he create this object, but he know it is not true. Mm. When he create all these objects, it appears to his mind, mm. but he never believe this is true. Mm. Exactly same like this. Mm. When you realize emptiness directly, and after arising emptiness, everything appears inherently, but you will never believe like that. Mm. So these two, so when we meditate on emptiness directly, right, and arise from emptiness, it's like space magician like emptiness. It appears inherently, but you realize it is not inherent existence. You understand what I'm saying? Mm. So whatever we do, postation, uh, <clears throat> when we arise it, postation, prayer, recitation of mantra, all, all are appears inherently, but you don't believe it. It is empty of inner existence because you first you directly realize emptiness, and after arising from emptiness, all this appears inherently, but it's like magician illusion. Mm. You don't believe it. So that's two, these two go together. Realizing emptiness directly, and after arising emptiness, you do all your prayer, whatever will accumulate two merit. Accumulation of the merit and wisdom merit. And you will cross the Buddha's land. You understand what I'm saying? <coughs> <coughs> So after this, so you finish all your foundation practice of the Lamu. Now you are able to enter the authentic path. Right? So you will uh, four levels of Tantra, action Tantra, performance Tantra, yoga Tantra, and highest yoga Tantra. So you can, you have good foundation. You are able to receive initiation, take uh, empowerment, keep precept, and then you will follow action tantra, performance tantra, yoga, highest yoga tantra. So then your life is meaningful. You know? Rangi, you are going to charge the kesan shala, then you charge the yawa chipe miso zada la golanga ke shibe jowa the towa kujan. So this is what Lama Tungaba said, I do this practice 
and I'm telling you, you guys, you to, if you are following, you should do like Lama Tsongkhapa. I did this, and you also follow me, then you can practice like me. It's in my own experience. I'm telling all the, my followers. All these teachings, um, the Buddhas coming from the kindness of my old guru. This is a dedication, and, and I will be reborn in the Tushida and then in the future I can see the Lama Sangha and receive teaching again and again in my future life. You know, so you planting the seed. So we do like this, or our future, I will meet that Lama, Lama Tsongkhapa. You thinking like this, you plant the seed. Then you will meet Lama Tsongkhapa in the future. You will meet Dharma in the future when you are young. You know? So we are praying in my future, I will be always receive Lama Tsongkhapa's teaching. Then like this, if you pray like this, every time you pray, you plant the seed. So this seed will ripen. If there is seed, <laughs> then you need other cause and condition to ripen their seed, right? Mm -hmm. This life you see ripen because you guys plant the seed and now you guys are receiving teaching. Now this seed ripen. You already plant the seed, now you actual condition here. We are studying love, we are studying many, many things. Similarly like this, in the future, we will be able to <coughs> receive teaching uh, uh, pain, you know, we will meet Tsongkhapa's teaching again and again in the future. Now, so called Molo, the Dakhani, the Molo, the Dakhani, the Molo, 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 the the Molo, the the Molo, 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 the I heard so many teachings. All Lama Tsongkhapa, he went, he was not satisfied, you know. He was very young, you know, he was three years old, seven years old, 16 years old. Incredible, you know, <clears throat> and listening so many teachings from Nyingma, Kagyu, Saki, all, and study so much. And part of Shula Thamja, whatever he study in the middle, then he, do the analytical meditation, analyze the teachings, analytical meditation. You know, analytical meditation, analyze, analyze thinking, whatever he study, analyze, analyze thinking, 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 analytical meditation. And Thamar Nyinzegunda, finally, day and night, I, I meditate and try to experience whatever I learn, whatever I think, whatever, I cannot separate this or make one. Studying, thinking, meditation, all make one. Whatever I study, I think, I experience. It's not like studying there and thinking there, you know, two going two different separate. You understand? Lama Tamara, no. <clears throat> so that's what uh, many, many teachings, <laughs> 18 volumes of uh, Lama Tsongkhapa's <clears throat> uh, text. But all these uh, texts, uh, you know, in, included in this, in this small text. <coughs> so, so I read whole text. Uh, you receive whole transmission. I received this from many, many great masters. Ling Rinpoche, Tijan Rinpoche, previous, and uh, His Holiness Dalai Lama. So with this lineage coming from like this Buddha, Metya, Asanka, and then till till now. So you have this transmission, you have this teaching, now you read this, different. Something you receive, transmission, you read, it's different. Because it is coming from the blessing of many holy masters. No matter how, if you read hundred times, you will find hundred times information. It's not like reading ordinary and, you know, paper, you know. You read one time, finish, or <laughs> you know, but this text, more you read, you can find more in information, you know. <clears throat> so this is, uh, so he said in the sutra, 
it is said that whatever kangshi ke leke bathe maji whatever arises from cause ke thela ke rangshi yo mai whatever arises from cause does not arise inherently kangshi ke leke bathe maji thela ke ve rangshi yo mai ke la rangle khande tong bachi ke la rangle means <coughs> uh that which rely on cause is said to be empty kela kaushi ke le ke mate ma je thela ke ra ra je ma je uh kaushi ke le ke ma thela ke ra ra je kela na le ka tingi tongi she de phayo in means <coughs> who ever understand emptiness is cautious it means emptiness is best knowledge for your mind you understand in the sutra kangshi whatever arises from causes does not arise inherently that the take example of the we have used this this is emptiness we have to do analytical meditation right analytical method then single point mm. stop you so take your your own uh, aggregate mm. aggregate phenomena emptiness of aggregate and emptiness of self two types of emptiness right emptiness of phenomena and emptiness of self so your aggregates is the base of emptiness of the phenomena so take this subject it is called the subject <coughs> subject your five aggregates mm. subject right mm. and now you have to prove this subject you have to prove this subject so subject it is the what we call the uh subject of statement is your five aggregates now you prove this subject means my subject my aggregate it does not exist inherently now you prove this now you use reason because it produces from cause cause so then see when something produces from cause mm. that means not inherent not independent existence mm. right yeah. so you prove like the subject you are subject you are <coughs> aggregate it does not exist true existence because it is produced by cause and condition then you see something is produced by cause and condition opposed to true existence yeah. so then you uh, see simple way um, yeah. when you meditating on the arm i want to sit on the cushion <laughs> who sit on the cushion your body or what <laughs> my aggregate right yeah. so uh, So if my aggregates are in an existence I won't be sitting on the cushion how can I sit on the cushion right I'm sitting on the cushion because my aggregates are not independent existence so you prove like this subject your aggregates it does not exist inherently is the subject to prove that statement and then you use logic produced by cause and condition mm. or you can say it is dependent arising so if something dependent arising is not opposed to independent existence you can prove self this is emptiness of the your phenomena right yeah. now emptiness of your i you know i emptiness of person mm. i subject mm. you have to prove this i it does not inherently exist because it is produced by cause and condition So then you prove this is simple way you can meditate on emptiness mm. your aggregate a uh, meditation on emptiness of the uh Aggregate. emptiness of the phenomena and in itself mm. so this is very uh, what is called the whatever arises from from cool that not arise inherently mm. that which rely on cause okay. said to be empty 
Whoever understands that is kosher. It is best knowledge, understanding, kosher, emptiness. Understanding emptiness and mind is best knowledge. Because it will cut to extreme. Yeah. It will cut the root of afflictive emotions. Mm. You come in the middle way, right? Mm. Middle way means you cut the two extremes. So you use logic like this, yeah. you understand? Yeah. So you use, whenever you meditate on emptiness, so subject, my aggregate, it does not agree inherently because it is produced by cause and condition. Yeah. If you think like this, oh, my body is not in the mental system. Yeah. So we have this one, remember? <coughs> uh, when Buddha introduced the suffering, first noble truth. This is true of suffering, this is origin of suffering, this is cessation of suffering, this is part of suffering. When he introduced suffering, he's not introducing for us gross suffering. We easy to recognize gross suffering, right? Mm. When we get sick, we go to hospital, then gross suffering. We know how to protect like this. But he really telling me, you should understand more subtle suffering, which is five aggregates. This aggregate, contaminant aggregates. This contaminant aggregate is produced by delusion and karma. So when something is delusion, this aggregates, the contaminant aggregate is, we have to understand that subtle suffering. The growth suffering is easy, right? Suffering or suffering, suffering or change. Mm. So we easy to recognize. Mm. But what he is pointing out means we must understand subtle suffering of pervasive, which is contaminant five aggregates. It's like magnet attract indirectly, directly suffering. When we have no this body, no suffering, right? We have body and mind, we are suffering. So if we understand what is that real suffering is, suffering of pervasiveness, then you realize, oh, it comes from delusion and karma. If something coming from delusion and karma, where, who, who will stop? Only emptiness. Understanding emptiness will dispel that one. This is why Nagarjuna said, he, he introduced the liberation, right, in the fundamental wisdom. Emptiness. means delusion and karma, which come from the mental projection. This mental projection coming from the uh, grasping mind. This grasping mind can be eradicate, eliminate by the understanding emptiness. So he introduced liberation like that. You understand what I'm saying? So, <clears throat> so this lamrim, you know, <clears throat> small lamrim, but contain all the teaching. When you do this lamrim trick, you understand what I'm saying? Okay, thank you very much.